What's up YouTube, Josh here with JCS Customs coming at you with another how-to video today. I had someone request this video through Instagram and hey, I'm willing to do it. And I'm sure it will help other people out as well because these things are honestly a pain. So if you're new here, please go down below and absolutely smash the like and subscribe button if you like today's video. Let's get this started. So what we're actually talking about today is the grill insert that actually comes out so you can put a tow hook in the front there. And you know, with my previous build, um, the grill allowed for me to just insert the tow hook straight, straight in there and I had the GoPro mount and it was awesome. So um, the SS's actually have this piece that can pop out. You can insert the tow hook in there and you know, put your GoPro mount on there if you want to. You get those cool shots. So we're gonna show what it takes to get this thing out the best way I've found to get it out because it is a pain to get this thing out. Um, it's not as easy as the, the owner's manual puts across. So um, yeah, show what you need, go from there. All right, real quickly before we start this, I'm gonna show exactly what's going on here. So there's your tow hook screw in there. So you're gonna have a clip here, a clip here. Wow, that's dirty up in there. And two clips that go through here. So. So you can see here, here's your two clips on the end. Clip at the top, clip at the bottom. So let's put it back in. All right, so we're ready to start this. So go ahead and grab your sledgehammer. Not really. So what you're gonna want is two screwdrivers or if you have a small enough pry tool, um, that works as well. So let's go ahead and show you how I did this the best way I found and um, because man, the owner's manual really don't explain it as well as it should. All right, quick explanation of what you're about to see me do. So you're gonna see me insert a screwdriver here, lift up, pull up on this at the same time, because this is not simply enough to push in here. You also wanna pull up on the bumper. And we're gonna see if we can get this. You see the clip right here. You wanna stick a screwdriver on the side and pull the plastic piece actually down, not the clip. Once those two are in at the same time pulled, you can pull this out sideways. All right, so let's start this and show you what I'm doing here. Get a flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, my head's gonna be in the way for a second. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna pop that plastic down there. We're gonna take this other one, stick it up in that first clip I showed you, and we'll pull up. Now when that's done, you should hear it pop. Screwdriver slipped out. There we go. There we go. And these will slide straight out. Just like that. And just to show you what the tow hook looks like screwed in. All right, so I can't fully screw mine in all the way because I have this camera mount here. which kind of sucks because I want my GoPro. Let's see, let's see how far. I don't want to scratch my paint up, so. Nope, that's touching right there. So that's gonna be as far as I could do it right there. But if this camera mount wasn't here, you could be able to screw this further back. So good thing I have a flashlight. My, my, my phone flash just died there. But I gotta touch up my tow hook there. But yeah, that's how you do it. And just to show you how to stick it back in. Slide these two clips first. Make sure we're still recording. All right, push back. Bam, back in place. Just like brand new. As you can see, it can be pretty easy to take out once you get the hang of it. Now I do say the first time you do it, it may take a minute. It took me a minute just to try to figure out the best way. I tried it the way according to the manual and to me that just didn't seem um, the best option. So try it my way. If it works out for you, great. And like always, I appreciate y'all watching YouTube. If you're new here like before, and you like today's video, go down below and absolutely smash the like and subscribe button for more content. 
Also, feel free to check out the rest of the playlist on the channel. I got um, RS videos, V6 videos, these SS videos, how-to videos, just a lot of stuff, man. We're over 100 videos. I think this is number 112 or 113, so we're putting content out. So, like always, I appreciate y'all watching before I start rambling. Until next time, YouTube, I will have another video coming out very shortly after this one. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace out.